This is a time-honored problem. Our application generates in lists based on the results from other tables and sometimes exceeds the 1000 item limit. Is there any parameter that can be set to increase this? Simple answer, no. There is no parameter that can be done to increase this. It is hard capped at 1000. And the reason it's hard capped at 1000 is building arbitrary size in lists is just a bad, bad idea can't stress enough it's a really bad idea but let's explore a why it's a bad idea and b what some of the workarounds are that i generally recommend you don't use so i'm going to create a table here called x it's an empty table but just to introduce the concept here what i'm going to do i'm going to use rather than write an sql that's got thousands of in this because that will be boring i'll use some peel sql to generate one so this is a simple example i'm starting with an sql that simply starts with an in list and then I simply loop around adding the numbers in the loop, so two through 10. So in this example, I'm actually outputting it just to show you what this routine will build. And you can see it actually outputted this SQL. So I simply looped from one through 10, built an inlist of size 10 and ran it. The table's empty. So this query is always gonna be instantaneous and therefore it took, you know, what, 0 0.003 seconds to run. Keep an eye on those elapsed times because this table is empty. So there's no query work to be done. It's just simply a, how long does it take to work out how to run the query? Let's now take it up to 1000. So the exact same logic, I'm going up to 1000 now. And you can see it ran fine, 0 0.05 seconds. Let's now see if we can go above 1000. And as we've said before, if you go to 1001, the maximum is 1000, you get an error. The maximum number of items in the list is 1000. It's fairly straightforward. And people say, well, if I can query 1,000 in 0.05 seconds, you know, surely, surely you could let us go higher. There are ways of going higher, which I, I'm hesitant to show, but let's explore what you can do. The maximum number of an elements in a single in list is 1,000. But what you can do is build 1,000, close the bracket, and then do an or, and then build another 1,000. So it becomes x in 1000 elements or x in the next 1000 elements etc 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 so in this case i'm doing 2000 elements in total just in two batches of 1000 and as you can see that actually runs but notice now it's starting to get a bit expensive to run as i said the execution time the actual time to query the data is zero because the table is empty this is simply how long does it take for the database to work out how to run it because we're starting to build some very big SQLs now. Another option you can explore, if you're thinking, well, it's gonna to be too hard for me to walk through a thousand elements, stop, add an or condition, walk through next thousand elements, add an or condition in my, my tool that builds it. Another option you can do is what we call the use of tuples, which is rather than just doing where X is in, I can do where this tuple X comma zero is in, one comma zero the tuple, 2 comma 0, 3 comma 0, 4 comma 0, etc. In fact, I actually output it here. We're building an SQL that looks a little bit strange because I've got this sort of redundant extra entry in there for each of them. But when you go to tuples, because each one of these is effectively its own little in list, we're not bound by the 1000 limit. So in this case, I can go up to, for example, 2000. No ors here, just 2000 individual tuples inside that in list. No works. If you go to tuples, you can go beyond the 1000 limit. In fact, here is, I'm looping now through several times, I'm gonna try 4,000 in lists, 8,000, 12,000, and 16,000, each time building up tuples. So let's run this. This might take a little while. Okay, so for 4,000 elements, 4,000 tuples in the in list, it took me 0.6 of a second. For 8,000, 2.1 seconds. For 12,000, 4.6. 16,000, 7.3 seconds. And we can be pretty confident none of that was actually query time because the table is empty. This is starting to look at parse time. The database is struggling just to digest a SQL of that enormous size. In fact, you can see I actually had to resort to using clobs as opposed to varchar twos because these SQL statements are now larger than 32K. Why? is the parsing cost high? Why, why is it so hard to parse something? Surely you simply say, well, if there's one element that's going to do an index read, doesn't matter how many elements are, I just you know, simply grab each element, loop through each one and do a, a lookup. Why is it hard to parse a large amount of in-list entries? 
Well, it's not that simple. For example, let's create a table called T1 with three columns. The first thing I'll put is 100,000 rows with the values one through 100,000. So X and Y have 100,000 distinct values. Now I'll insert the value zero for column Y. So column Y has one row for the value one, one row for the value two, one row for the value three, and 100,000 rows for the value zero. It's heavily skewed in, in the word zero. Gather some stats and, here, and put an index on, and here's where things get interesting. If I'm querying these elements in the in list, each one of those occurs once. It would be very intelligent to simply do an index read for each one of those, and the database does. It literally does 10 index reads for each of those. But if I added the value zero in here, then that would be a terrible idea to use the index for the value zero because it's over half the table anyway. And so the database has a look and correctly does it. But it just goes to show that just because you have an arbitrary number of elements in an in list doesn't mean you can simply assume they're all equal. You have to parse each element on its merits. And that's why the parsing costs get high if you start putting thousands of entries in these in lists. Now, I'm not going to run this. You can see it's all commented out here because I didn't want to subject you to it. I then took it up to 65,000 and 66,000 elements using the tuple system. Now, this is a fake run. I've timed this before. You can see at 65,000, it works, but it took three minutes to parse the query and then ran it. 66,000 didn't come out, which suggests there is an actual upper limit, even in the tuple situation. And that limit is, as you'd imagine, 65,536. It's the old you know, power of two. So no matter what you do, you're capped at 65 or 64K elements in an in list, even if you're using the tuples, etc. And if you go that high, well, don't blame us when it takes three minutes to run that query, because that's what it's going to take at least before we even access the data. And just in case you're wondering, if I change it to basically doing 2K and 4K using the OR system, 1,000, then 1,000, then 1,000 using an OR for each one, the times still go up. And if I get to 64, 65K, you get the same results. 2 minutes 13 for 64 chunks of 1,000. And if I try to go to 66,000 chunks, even though they're in back batches of 1,000, I still hit that limit. So even if I do it in batches of 1,000 at a time, I'm still at the 64,000 lines.